Welcome back to my channel, Sandy Totero. My name is Laura, and I am here to do the weekly readings for the week of September 20th through the 26th. We are um, barely still in Virgo season. We move into Libra season on the 23rd of this month, which means this week. Um, so the Libras are an air sign. Uh, air signs are communicative, and Libras are, or air signs are idealistic and communicative and very intelligent they're in their head a little too much sometimes i can say that because i'm an air sign i know how it goes um but libras are very charming and that is probably their most likable trait they're very good at balancing things and seeing uh, things from both sides and um, multiple sides if that's the case so anyway, I am going to do what I did last week. I'm going to split these readings up by element. So I'll do one video for fire signs, one video for earth signs, one video for water signs, and one video for air signs. And within those videos, I will do a reading for each of the zodiac signs. For instance, for the air signs, I will do a reading for Gemini, a reading for Libra, and a reading for Aquarius. In that video, there will be uh, timestamps in the description box so you can go directly to your particular reading for your sign. I did that last week. I think people like it that way. It kind of makes it a little more personal, uh, though these are not personal readings. You know, you have to just take the cards as they come. Sometimes the message is intended for you. Sometimes it's intended for somebody else, which is fine. If it's not yours, if it's not resonating with you, just click off of it and we'll see you next time. If you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wish and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can go to sandytotarot.com and there you will find out how to reach me for a personal reading and the options that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the weekly readings. As, uh, again, I will do four videos and the uh, timestamps for your particular zodiac sign will be in the description box below the video. So welcome back Cancer. These are going to be your messages for the week of September 20th through the 26th. I'm going to get three cards from um, the Rider Waite deck. And then I will clarify if I need to, and I'll probably end up with an oracle card. I had one reading that I didn't because the reading just went long. I'm trying to keep these individual readings under um, 10 minutes. So it doesn't take up too much of your time, and it doesn't take up too much of my time either. We're just trying to figure out what's coming up this week. So let's see what kind of messages we can get for cancer. So... What's coming up for Cancer? Make it plain, please. What's coming up for Cancer this week for the week of September 20 through the 26th? Coming up for Cancer. That was all over the place. Pretty wild. However, that was a lot of cards. That would take a long time to read. And like I said, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes for the individuals. So there we go. Here's a couple cards. This one came out first. The Moon and... The Magician. So can I just get one more card for Cancers? What's coming up with Cancers this week? The Page of Swords. Okay, we're just going to start at the beginning here and just talk about the energies for the week. When you do a three card reading, you're pretty much looking at this is the foundation of the situation or this is the recent past and what has brought us to where we are right now this is what's this is the present so we're doing a reading for September 20th through the 26th so this would be what's coming up for that week and this is what's coming up in the near future or a possible outcome for the reading so we start with the moon card the moon is a very watery card actually it is the major arcana card for pisces and you get this card whenever you have been in a situation where you cannot see the path it is lit by the moon it is not very well lit it's not lit like it would be if there was sunshine on the path 
So you are having to use your intuition and your instincts to go forward down this path. You cannot see everything. There are things all around you. Some things are dangerous. We've got wolves baying at the moon, howling at the moon, whatever the wolves do at the moon. We've got uh, scorpions in the water. There are just some dangerous things on the sides of the path. There's some things that are hidden that you don't get to see, that you don't get to know right now. But the message of the card is if you use your instincts and just stay on the path, follow your intuition, keep moving forward, when you wake up in the morning, you will find that you are where you need to be. The second card we have here is the Magician, and this is the card of the Master Manifester. It means that you have all of the tools that you need to reach any goal that you want to reach. This guy has the cups here to indicate if he needs uh, another person. The relationships will be there that he needs to make this happen, whatever it is that his goal is. He has the sword of truth here that means also clarity of thought. So when he, it comes time to make the decision, he has the mental clarity to be able to make the decisions that he needs to make. There is a pinnacle here. Pinnacles always represent material things. So if he needs financial backing, if he needs money, if he needs material goods to make his dream come true, he, can absolute, he absolutely has these pinnacles at his disposal. The money is there. And he, the wand is, uh, represents creative ideas. It re represents vitality and energy. He has th that in spades. It, when he goes to um, make this dream or turn this dream into a reality. It's the card of manifestation is what it is. So that's where you're at this week. Now in the outcome card, I'm gonna get a clarifier on this because I don't like, in these short readings, I don't like to use people cards as, uh, I mean, you can use them for clarification and that kind of thing. You can use them for, uh, to get a sense, a feel of where you're at um, emotionally or mentally in a, in a, at a certain time. You can get a sense of who might be play into your week or who might be a part of this um, reading. However, they're not very action oriented, so I don't, I definitely don't like them in the outcome uh, spaces. So I'll def, I'll get a uh, clarifier on this, but it is the card for me of Taurus. Um, it's a minor arcana for Taurus. Um, pages can also be young people who, uh, it can be children, it can be just a young man who is swords, very mental, very communicative. Um, pages are often messengers, so the, when the page of swords, you see the page of swords, that means that you might get some unexpected news or some upsetting news that comes in that changes the course of the outcome or the reading. <clears throat> but if you notice, he has this uh, sword in his hand and he, he has it in striking position. So you also get this card whenever there, there might be something that you have to cut out of your life. Um, this card says you're ready to do it. He's, uh, like I said, in striking position and ready to cut out whatever he needs to cut out in order to manifest his desires. Okay. So, as I said, I'm going to get a clarifier for the Page of Swords here. Why is this Page of Swords here? I'm going to get one more for the Page of Swords. Okay, I think it has something to do with what you're trying to manifest. I think for some of you, what you're trying to manifest is a some kind of business deal. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is like the beginning of a business venture. It is in the planning stages. This guy is down in the basement of the church. He's telling his trusted partners his idea for um, some project or some creative idea that's gonna make money. Threes are usually creativity, so it could be some kind of uh, 
creative idea that will make some money in the future. But the message of this card is to just keep the information that you have right now, because you're just in the planning stages, keep it to just the people that need to know. The more people you tell, um, the, the less likely it is to take off. Sometimes that means that people would take your idea, especially if it's a creative idea. So just keep it to the people that need to know. And then uh, the, this car, the other clarifier that you got here is the Six of Pentacles. Again, money, right? But the Six of Pentacles is a card of reciprocity. When it comes to money, it's a card of give and take. If you have, you give. If you need, you take. It might, you might be in a position uh, or what's coming up in the near future on this whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. It's going to be different for all of you is that you might be in a position to get a partner in your in your endeavor. Uh, that partner might provide financial backing for you. It could be a Taurus. Uh, Tauruses are notoriously good with money because they're an earth sign and uh, they're just the bankers of the Zodiac or one of the bankers of the Zodiac. So it could be a Taurus person or a that type of dependable kind of earthy uh, good with finances person that is helping to uh, finance this venture and another way to read this uh, like I said this is sometimes cutting something out of your life um, whenever you need to and it's having the clarity of thought to know when you need to cut something out and what you need to cut out. This might indicate that in the future, if you already have a business partner with this venture, that you might need to uh, cut them, I hate to say cut them out of the deal. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? You might need to let them go. It, it might be that you don't want to use a partner on this particular situation. As I said, uh, the more people that you tell, the more problematic it can be. Uh, they might take your idea or it might mess it up if you tell too many people. So this also could be read that you don't, you want to cut out any middlemen with the fine, you don't want to use someone else to help with the finances. You have everything that you need. You may think that you need some kind of financial backing, but this, these cards are saying that you do not. You have everything that you need to make this ideal work. Um, you have had to, um, again, this is kind of secrecy too. This is secrecy. There, there has already been some secrecy in this venture that you're doing here. It might be, you know, kind of new and exciting and creative, and you're the only one that's thought of it. You have kind of had to just go on your instincts down this path, but this is saying you might need to continue down that path. You think you think you might need to get some money from somebody, but you don't necessarily, and to be careful of that. You have everything that you need. That's what this card is saying. Okay, I'm gonna get you a, I haven't used these yet today, I'm gonna do a, a Sedona Oracle for this reading. I think this looks good. I think it's exciting. Um, it's really hard sometimes when you've got this idea that you can't tell anybody because you're excited about it, but I think that's the advice of these cards today. Not yet. It's not time. Okay, so what can we get for Cancers? Well, that popped out. Oh, I love this card. Visitor, tourist, or alien. Is that hilarious? I love that card. It's so cute. Okay. Look very closely. That person visiting, looking so closely at the rock formations. I wonder, where did they really come from? You will always see whatever it is you need to see or do whatever it is you truly came to do. Circumstances may not be quite what they appear to be. Again, more secrecy. It, it may not be what it appears to be. There's hidden things going on beneath the surface. For now, I'm afraid you've got to go it alone. I'm afraid you need to, um, you're gonna have to manifest this on your own. It's just not time to tell people, 
whoever you do tell and bring into your trust as your partner, be very, very careful who that is. Make sure that it's someone that you can trust. Who are they really, you know? Who are they really? That's the cutest card. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for the Cancers for this week. Um, until next time, I'm sending you guys lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, Scorpio. These are gonna be your messages for September 20th through the 26th. So I'm just gonna pull three cards from the Rider Waite deck. I will get um, clarifiers if I need to, and then at the end, I'll probably pull an Oracle card um, I'm trying to get through these, uh, through the individual readings for each sign in under 10 minutes. So 10 minutes are under because, you know, it just makes it easier for you. makes it easier for me. Let's just like, let's get our messages for this week. All right. So Scorpio, what's coming up for Scorpio this week? These cards want to jump out. So I think there's something to say. I'm not going to take that because that was in the last reading. I'm going to cleanse these real quick. Okay, let's go Scorpio. So, what's coming up for Scorpio this week? Let's see what the cards want us to see. What's coming up for Scorpio this week? That looks like three cards. Bang, bang, bang. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Three of uh, Pentacles. All right, let's see what this is all about here. Well, this is about a relationship. This is about love. This is something coming into your life um, romantically. The Knights are always bringing something into your life. They're on a horse, right? Charging in on a horse bringing something with them. Okay, so knights are usually read as young people. So this is probably, sometimes it's read as a young man between the age of 25 to 35. It could be a woman. Um, okay, but someone is coming in and offering you a cup of love this week. Now, it can be a new relationship. It can be a new love. It can be a new spark that might lead to love. It can be a renewal in a already existing relationship. If there's been some discord or if um, uh, discord or, you know, things have just gotten a little stale, this card can offer, usher in a time of healing for that kind of love relationship. So it can also usher in a healing in any kind of emotional relationship. It could be family as well. It could be friends. It doesn't have to be romantic. A lot of times it is romantic. Okay, so the second card you have is the Minor Arcana for the Pisces. Pisces is a fellow water sign for you guys. Uh, and water signs are very mysterious and observant and um, very emotional. They're good with their emotions. They're good with relationships. And Pisces are particularly good with relationships. Um, they're kind of the chameleon of the zodiac sign, so they fit in really well with a lot of different kind of people. This is also a card of frivolous fun. And a lot of times it comes along to remind you that life is also supposed to be fun. It cannot be work all the time. Uh, notice the beach. Can you take a day to go to the beach and watch, watch the uh, fish w jump out of the water? Um, play and have fun. That's what this card is reminding us. The th third card that you have down here is the Three of Pentacles. And interestingly enough, the Three of Pentacles is a card that comes up when you're starting some kind of business venture. Very early stages of it definitely in the planning stages of it because this guy is down in the basement of a church. He's telling his trusted colleagues about this uh, idea, a creative, three or three is creativity, right? A creative idea that he has that he feels like might be, uh, might provide some gain financially. So the, the message of this card is 
You want to be careful who you tell. Don't tell too many people. Only tell the people that need to know because it is in such early stages. Uh, if you tell too many people, you might just blow it. Sometimes, and especially with creative ideas, um, they might take it. They might take your creative idea and run with it before you have a, have a, a chance to execute your plan. So this is interesting that this new creative idea shows up this week in all this in this reading with all this love and this is kind of where you've come from in recent um in recent in the recent past in recent months like you've started a new relationship this is where you are this week in a very great feeling place in the uh, way of relationship and having fun and remembering to play and then out of this and this is not unusual but out of all this love and this flow of life and that's what love does to us right it puts us it connects us to the divine that's what playing and having fun does to us it sets our mind free to come up with creative ideas. So, because of this, and you're getting in this place where that life is just flowing and you're not so worried about everything anymore, along comes this great idea that even though it's something that you love, it's something that you love to do, uh, it's something that you're passionate about, it might be something that could make some money in the end and you're going to pursue that but the message of the card is be careful who you tell don't tell too many people all right since you guys are whew, this is fun actually uh, I'm gonna get you guys a sacred traveler card because this is a good reading. I love all this juice. I love I love how this flows because this is so true. When you're in the flow of life, things come to you, exciting things. Creative new ideas. Okay, so can we get some final words of wisdom for our Scorpios? What do our Scorpios need to know this week? Um, that one jumped out, so we're going to take it. Wait till you see this card. It's fantastic. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. I love that card. Beautiful. Okay. So... The sacred traveler wants you to know on the journey, the traveler confronts dragons and overcomes ob obstacles and in the process discovers the path of the treasure in their soul. Often treasure is found in the most unexpected of places. Sometimes after it seems that you've faced an inner dragon, you'll find the hidden treasure. Success begets success. So as you begin to seek and find the bounty in your life, more and more rewards will follow. This card heralds a bountiful, prosperous, abundant time in your life. Wow, how amazing is that? And it comes from this. It stems from this joy. It stems, stems from this place of feeling abundant. When you feel that, you just draw more abundance into your life. Fantastic. You guys are going to have a great week. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, Pisces. These are going to be your messages for the week of September 20th through the 26th. So, what is coming? I'm going to get three Rider Waite uh, cards today, and then I'll pull clarifiers as needed. And at the end, I will pull an Oracle card to kind of pull it all together, to pull the reading all together, get some final words of wisdom. So, Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, what's coming up for the Pisces? Got the Four of Swords. Excuse me. <laughs> Pisces. What's coming up for Pisces this week? You 
you guys. That's a lot of cards. Okay. I'm going to take them. Uh, I don't know why, but I am. I'm trying to keep these readings, these individual readings, under 10 minutes. So hopefully we can get through this kind of quickly anyway. Don't know where to put these. There's just two. Okay. So, I'm going to read these like it's a three-card spread and try to... Actually, I'm going to get one more for this one over here. I'm going to get one more for this last row here. What To clarify this last row, what else do you want to tell us about this? Okay. All right, so when you do a three-card spread, you're basically looking at... This is the recent past or what has brought us to now. This is what's going on now. This is the present. So we're doing a reading for September 20th through the 26th. So this is what's coming up for this week. And then this is a possible outcome or it's what's coming up in the near future. Okay, so I'm gonna read these cards together. What we got here is the Four of Swords. And this comes along in your reading when you are exhausted, which kind of goes along with this Ten of Wands. You have a lot of burdens on your shoulder. You have a lot going on. Maybe you're juggling a lot with friends, family, work. Um, uh, what else could you juggle a lot with? What other kind of responsibilities can you have? Some financial responsibilities, just all kinds of responsibilities. You got too much on your plate, basically. So this card shows up to say, you need to practice some self-care. Um, you need to take a rest. This is the card of rest. It's a card of relaxation, but it's also a card of going to the spa. It's a card of doing what it is that rejuvenates you and that's personal to everybody are you getting your regular exercise are you going for bicycle rides are you uh, taking a walk along the beach are you taking care of yourself are you eating right so that's just all this card is saying you have a lot of obligations it looks like you might have a lot of obligations uh, related to family and it m looks like multiple generations of family it's not just the nuclear family it's not just mom and dad and kids like extended family this is generations of family so all this what has brought us to here which is where we are this week is that you are overburdened looks like with family obligations and you have needed to take a rest so i think we got some good news here for this week and I think it even gets better when you look at the outcome. But the judgment card is a summing up or a rebirth. So it is also the card of waking up to life. Rebirth, right? If you notice, these people are in a coffin. Mom, dad. Actually, it's a male, female, divine is what it is. <laughs> Inner child. Um, so all in a coffin. The angel... Archangel, I don't know. Raphael, maybe. I'm not good with the archangels. So I'm not Catholic. Um, so I did not grow up with the archangels. I don't understand them. Anyway, one of the archangels, I don't think it's Michael, is, <laughs> I think it might be Raphael, is sounding the trumpet, saying, wake up to life. Um, it, a phase is ending. It's kind of a time to judge what what has been and to wake up to life, have a rebirth and start moving forward, start living. Again, this is just a reiteration of this. War out, the nine of wands is battle worn. You are exhausted. This is over. The battle wornness is over. Um, so it is a time to wake up to life and to do cool, interesting things. What we have here is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is either 
it's on my mind arcana card for Sagittarius. So it could be a time frame. That's the end of uh, November, beginning of December. It is also a card of adventure. The uh, wands are new vit vitality. Uh, the page of wands a lot of times ushers in good news. Um, vitality, forward movement, adventures, going out into the world and having fun, passion, that kind of thing. It uh, goes right along with this judgment card of waking up to life. It's vitality and good news. It's moving forward. It's a message that comes into your life that brings you an opportunity to move forward and an opportunity for um, new energy, new creative ideas, maybe a vacation, an adventure, that kind of thing. So it kind of goes uh, right along with this. So this is what's happening this week. Uh, hallelujah. This looks like an announcement too. So may, definitely maybe a message coming in to you. And then what we have over here is the magician card is the card of the master manifester. It's the card of mastery of knowledge. You have everything in your toolbox that you need to manifest something that you want to manifest. Looks like you might be manifesting a bit of a vacation, a bit of an adventure. So the three of wands, again, wands are vitality, passion, move, forward movement, uh, creative ideas, juice, right? So when we get the three of wands in our spread, it's usually you have looked out on the world and you have decided what you want to do. You've made a decision about what it is that you would like to do next because the two, and then the two of wands, he's looking out on the world to decide what he wants to do. And the three of wands, he's made the decision, he's moving forward. It's like first steps toward moving toward your goal, goal or whatever it is that you want to do. Three of wands can mean overseas travel too. I know this is not the, uh, best of times to be traveling with things the way they are with the pandemic so maybe it's definitely not overseas but maybe it is something in country that uh, you feel like that you can travel to and go see whatever it is it's a new adventure and i think it has i think it's about this i think it's about reconnecting with the person you love the two of cups is it can be a new relationship and for some of you that is coming up in the near future and because of that new relationship uh you you want to manifest new dreams and you have new desires and you want to go out and travel with this person absolutely could be happening um but you might be uh, because you have it looks like the major obligations that you had with family and extended family are going away. You are a little battle worn. You're waking up to life. And uh, it looks like this is not going to be such a problem anymore. So you can reconnect with your major relationship, like with your spouse or with your boyfriend or with, you know, that person, your significant other, but whoever or whatever that is. So you want to connect with them and you, a lot of you are gonna be doing it through some kind of adventure that you're going to have together. And this card is saying that you have everything that you need to be able to pull that off. Um, like I said, travel right now is not, you know, not ideal. It's not that easy to do with all the restrictions. From the pandemic, a lot of people don't have a lot of money, a lot of excess money right now for travel because things have been weird for people in their jobs. Um, a lot of people are laid off. This is saying you have whatever it is that you need to do, and you need to do this. You need to wake up to life and um, start living again, reconnect with the people that you love, and um, go out there and enjoy life and live it. Live it in a big way. Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys a, since you're traveling, I feel like you're traveling. I think you're taking a trip. There's several um, travel cards in here. 
I think it's a vacation. I think it's a um, much needed vacation. Actually, you're exhausted. A, a vacation to reconnect and to reconnect and recharge and to find out what, and once you get that rest and that, you know, some juice flowing back in your life, then you can decide what you want to manifest later on. What you want, uh, what your next goal should be, I guess. All right, so let's get some uh, final advice for our Pisces friends this week. Some words of wisdom from the sacred traveler, since y'all are traveling, I'm using this one. Okay. Sacred traveler, what's going on for Pisces? What do they need to know? Transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. Nice. That kind of goes along with this, rebirth, waking up to life, transformation. So the sacred traveler wants you to know the journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life, don't be concerned. This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. Like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Changes are afoot, and it's all so very good. Nice, Pisces. I'm very happy for you guys. This is going to be a great week. Um, you're moving forward in a, to a much more exciting phase. The drudgery is over. It's time for some adventure. I just see wands, 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 which for a water sign is unusual because they're about emotions and flow and balance and all that stuff. Wands are action, action, action. Let's move, let's go, let's have adventures, let's have some fun. It's time, you deserve it. It's a total transformation and it's coming for you. Transformation and rebirth. Very nice. Okay, so that's all I have for my Pisces this week. Until next time, I'm sending you guys lots of light and love. Namaste.